In 2003, the Robert Clack School was given a special award for science. Today, all students are encouraged to spend time in the science laboratories exploring the subject. Listen, you're going to have to explain to me what's going on here. <laughs> what's, what have you got in here? Um, using hydrogen peroxide and right. magnesium um, mm. peroxide as a catalyst. Mm. And, um, to produce water and oxygen, oxygen right. and then you light the rocket and it'll like, go up. <laughs> when are you going to be able to light the rocket <laughs> At the end. <laughs> At the end. Have you tried this before? Um, Has it worked before? Yeah. Is it, or you, yeah. you practiced? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just saying how marvelous it would be if you get to the stage you could run cars on hydrogen. Absolutely. I mean, they can. Yeah. The trouble is the availability of the Well, it's just the cost the of splitting up the water to form the hydrogen and the oxygen in the first place, hydroelectric or something like that, then it's an excellent way. Because obviously it just produces water, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 um, nothing's perfect, is it? Some, no, it isn't, is it? So, some obstacles. Yeah. Some, For example, yeah. side effect. We used the 21 gun salutes, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> well, the class wanted to deliver their own uh, personal salute to you. Um, so when I flip the switch, you should uh, be a recipient of that salute. Um, that's <laughs> well, if it hasn't, I'm afraid, then uh, I'll be held responsible for quite some time. Um, so. <laughs> I was so hoping for the I'll explosions just, here. Yeah, well, I'll just see if there's some students who need a little bit of medical help. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll be fine. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We had to go out and buy this. <laughs> I haven't caused too much terrible disruption. Anyway, I've enjoyed it enormously. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got them all in very good order, anyway. Bless you. And good luck with all the dreaded exams and all these other things. Hope you achieve all your ambitions. The amount of time that His Royal Highness gave to the school uh, has been noticed by, by many colleagues and many children. They've all commented on that. I just think that the visit, um, it, it just says so much about, about this school and the pupils and the staff and the way that we're moving forward. When you have a visit from the future King of, uh, of England and he's continually saying to you as you go around the school, that's marvellous, that's exceptional, that's wonderful, how uh, is this being achieved, aren't your staff of a high calibre, aren't your children exceptional? You know, the boost to, to our morale and the, 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 the self-confidence of the children is... All of that confidence goes through the roof, so it, it's just been an exceptional day for our school. I would say, as head, it's probably been one of my best days, if not the best day ever.